welcome back. Today, we are going to start a brand new series where we learn that God helps us be brave. Now, whenever you hear me say, God helps us be brave, I want you to put your hands on your hip like a superhero and say, we're brave. So let's try that, ready? God helps us be brave. We're brave. That's right, and God helps us be brave even when we go against the crowd. Well, where we are in our Bible truth today is Moses and his people have been out in the wilderness and they're finally right on the edge of the land that God has promised them. But there's all these other people already living there and God has made a promise. Don't worry guys, this is going to be your land. You can trust me. So Moses picks 12 spies to go in and just see what's already in the land. Who are we up against? What is this land like? So he sends 12 spies and they all come back 40 days later and 10 of them are too scared to go back. But the other two only see the good things that God is providing in the land and they trust that if God made a promise that that land is going to be theirs, they can trust that God will keep his promise. So what I want you to do is you're gonna turn in your Bible to Numbers chapter 13. Matt, or in the Old Testament, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. So the fourth book of the Bible. And you are going to read all about Joshua and Caleb and the spies going into the land. You're going to see what they saw. You're going to hear about what kinds of people were already living there. And you're going to see how Joshua and Caleb chose to be brave. Because God helps us be brave. That's right. All right, so hit pause. Get into your Bible. Then when you come back and hit play, we've got a brand new Bible memory buddy, Raquette, the flying squirrel, and she has a message for you. Hi friends, I'm Raquette. I'm a flying squirrel. I'm so excited to see you today. Look closely at me. Do you notice anything? <laughs> You guessed it, I have the most beautiful big eyes, <laughs> if I do say so myself. A lot of young animals have very large, cute eyes like mine. That's one reason everybody thinks babies are so adorable. But here's something you might not know. We flying squirrels never outgrow our big, beautiful eyes. We have them from the time we're born until we're old and gray. Since we're such small creatures, you might wonder why God gave us such big eyes. Well, God made everything on purpose, so he had the perfect reason. Flying squirrels like me are most active at night. Have you ever tried finding your way around at night? <laughs> it's not so easy. And since we're flying squirrels, we glide from tree to tree at night. So we need to be able to see where we're going. That way, we won't crash and fall. Whee! It'd almost be impossible and very scary to fly at night without being able to see. In fact, I think it might ground us flying squirrels. But God knew that in order to be the high flyers we are, we need to gather more light with our big eyes. Our night vision helps us be brave when venturing out at night. In the Bible, a man named Caleb bravely ventured out to scout out some land. God had promised to give this land to his people, the Israelites. Caleb and the other scouts brought back big, beautiful fruit to show Moses and the Israelites what a wonderful home it'd be. Some of the other people were nervous about moving into the land. They weren't so sure about it. But Caleb knew that God's promises come true, and he trusted that God would come through for the Israelites. In the Bible book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9, it says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. God will help you be brave no matter where you are or what's going on around you. I know it's not always easy to be strong and courageous when you feel scared or worried, but God has promised you something too. 
He'll always be with you. So trust God. God will give you the strength you need. Remember this, I'm just a tiny squirrel. And God gave me what I need to be brave when I'm gliding through the night skies. If God takes care of me, he'll definitely take care of you. He loves you and all people so much. No matter what's happening around you, remember this, God helps us be brave. Well, gotta glide away. I'll see you later, friends. God's people had a choice to make. When those spies came back and they gave the message like, yeah, there's giant grapes and it's really beautiful, but there's also like giants and all of these other people there, they had a choice. Should I be brave because I trust that God is faithful or should I be scared? not trusting that God will keep his promises. They had a choice to make. And sometimes we have that choice to make too. When we're trying to decide, am I really brave enough to do something hard? Am I really brave enough to go against the crowd? Because Joshua and Caleb went against the crowd and God rewarded them for their faithfulness. Joshua and Caleb were the only ones that actually got to go into this new land after a punishment of being sent back into the wilderness for 40 more years. We can trust that God is faithful and God keeps his promises and that helps us be brave. So have a really great week. Think about ways that you can be brave and trust that God will keep his promises. And remember, you are so loved.